there is this constant theme I see in the scriptures that God is always trying to let his people know that you are not fighting for victory, but you are fighting from victory. Now, I've seen so much of God every time telling his people, don't be afraid because fear is not from God. And I would just say this out the gate that anything, whether you hear it in church on the pulpit or whoever said it, that inspires fear in your heart. I'm, I'm calling using the word inspires fear. Anything that is being said, whether they said it to motivate you to worship God or to motivate you to pray, and then it brings fear to your heart, that is not from God. I was going through the book of Joshua, and I realized that whenever the enemy came to them, before God would release them to go fight the enemy, God would tell them, don't be afraid. Because if they stomach fear and go with that fear, God did not say, do not feel afraid. He said, do not be. Because when you become afraid, that fear alone can cripple you. Fear is crippling. And that's why every time God would appear to his people through an angel, they will be afraid that they will die. They will be afraid that they will lose when they go to a war. And God will be like, do not be afraid. And I see God talking to Joshua, always telling Joshua, I have given you this land. I have given these people into your hands. Do not be afraid. And it's a picture of saying you already have the victory. Go claim it. And that is what I'm bringing to you today. As you are facing your life, as you are doing things in your life, it might look like there's no change. It might look like you are not seeing the result of the effort you've put in. It might look like you're not seeing the result of the consistency you're putting in. And all I would tell you today is keep going. Do not be afraid. You are fighting from victory. Go and claim your victory. You are not fighting to go and get victory. You already have victory. It is certain that you're going to win in life. It is certain that you're going to win for whatever thing you're going for. And this is the mindset to have as a victor. What should inspire you to have this mindset? Because you have God with you. Having God with you, God can never lose. He has never lost a battle. He will not lose in your state. He will not lose in your place. And you should know that because you have him, he has your back. Every single time if you read about the story of the Israelites, they were always faced with enemies that were far bigger than them, mightier than them, and in everything, they outweigh them, they would beat them down. But then God would be like, do not be afraid. It is natural for them to be afraid. But then God is saying, go against what you feel naturally. Do not be afraid. How would you not be afraid when you look to God? Now, in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour what does the roar of the lion do to people it makes them afraid before the lion would devour you he would roar <laughs> i'm not a lion but <laughs> i kind of have a deep voice so <laughs> sorry if you are listening maybe listening to an audio and then the thing is like uh oh <laughs> it's like you hear the roar of a lion and you are you're kind of shocked. You're afraid. Start causing this crippling anxiety within you. And God is, every time you, he you hear something that makes you afraid, that's what strikes you. That crippling anxiety. Oh, oh, am I safe? So God says, be sober. Be vigilant. Be sober means be in the right mind. Having the right belief. Now, it's compared to someone that drinks. And when they drink, that drink takes over them. Fear is like that. It's that intoxicating. Now, when you are afraid, when you are in that space, it kind of takes over your mind. Just like with, you would take alcohol and then it kind of manipulates your mind, takes you over and you become drunk. And then, oh, you are taken in the influence. You are in the influence of fear. You are in the influence of alcohol. You are not sober. You're no more the one thinking. Now your fears are the one making suggestions in your mind, telling you, oh, you're going to be overcome. You're going to fail. Don't go at this. Do not be good. You have those fears. And if you have them, I want you to direct those fears to God and hear the word of God. Be sober, be vigilant, and do not be afraid because God is with you. Scripture says the enemy will seek to devour you and first of all you will roll and this is one of the ways that the enemy tries to roll in your head sometimes it comes like a voice that tells you that god is angry with you and you need to be careful of that voice because sometimes that voice comes out from a pulpit 
Sometimes it comes out from something you would call like God is the one speaking, but that is not the voice of God. In Isaiah chapter 54, scripture talks about the fact that God says, I will not be angry with you. I'm paraphrasing that scripture. You can read it in Isaiah chapter 54 and then you will see it for yourself. But the reality is that you have to come to a place of, I will not be afraid because God is with me. David said in Psalms, the Lord is my rock and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Because this fear will actually lead you to that failure. But if you come to a place of faith in God, you can feel afraid, but you will not become afraid. When you feel afraid, take it to God. Take it to God. Take that fear and surrender it at the feet of God and remind yourself that God is with you. You're not alone. You're not walking alone. God has your back. God is going before you. God is beside you. God is within you. His spirit is with you. Let that encourage your heart to go forward in victory. Don't let your heart be crippled because of these fears surrounding you. Joshua chapter 8 verse 1. Then the Lord said to Joshua, do not be afraid or discouraged. Take all your fighting men and attack Ai, for I have given you the king of Ai, his people, his town, and his land. What was the first thing God said to Joshua? Do not be afraid or discouraged. Because when the enemy rises up against you, or when the enemy threatens you, the first thing that comes to you is fear and discouragement. You want to be discouraged. Oh God, where are you? And God says, don't be afraid or discouraged. He said, I've already given you victory. You're fighting from victory. Which means, before God ushered them out, God told them, pull down that wall of fear. And then move and go in victory. And stay with me. Because for you not to be afraid, for you not to walk in fear, you have to be sober, be in the right mind, have the right belief, have faith in God. Stay on the same frequency with God. Walk with God and listen to God's instruction. Let God direct you. Let God lead you. Because God has the power to destabilize your enemies. God has the power to throw your enemies into panic. Like I'm going through the book of Joshua. I keep repeating it in a few of the videos that I've made this period. Because I really enjoy the stories I'm reading. And it's kind of like God will always fight for his people. And in Joshua chapter 10 verse 9, I see as God threw the enemies of Israel into panic. And they were panicking. God made them afraid. And the Israelites killed them and warned them. So your enemy are actually afraid of you already. Now they are trying to play a trick on you and come up against you so that you yourself will be afraid of them. But then you have a God that tells you don't be afraid. These people are afraid of you. Of course, if you read through the scriptures, you realize that all the enemies of Israel were always afraid of them before they would even want to launch attack on them first. But God wants you to know. Your enemy is actually afraid of you because you have a big God. And you should know that you have a big God and not be afraid of that enemy. But trust in your God that your God is bigger than your enemy. And this is one thing I said, whatever is happening in your life that wants to make you afraid is actually enough to make you afraid. But what should you do? You should choose to not be afraid, but to trust God. Because scripture says, he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. So you know that you have God. In you and he is greater he's greater than all your problems he's greater than all your troubles he's greater than all the things that you ever have to go through he's greater than all the things you are going through right now he's good he's greater than all the things you have gone through in the past because he pulled you through them you shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor the arrows that flies by day nor the pestilence that walk in darkness nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday a thousand will fall at your side ten thousand at your right hand it shall not come near you only with your eyes shall you look and see the recompense, the reward of the wicked. You shall not be afraid. You shall not be afraid. And he starts telling you the terror by night. Night comes with terror. Arrows that flies by day, you may not even see the missiles or whatever. Why should you not be afraid? Because you have God and you are hidden in God. You are hidden in Christ in God, as Colossians says. So you have protection. You are like the apple of God's eye, as written in Psalms. So you should know, I am coming from a place of victory. Does that mean you will not face life? Of course, you approach life. Because God wants to launch you out to succeed. But before God launches you out to that field of success, before God launches you out to that space that you want to go into, God is telling you, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. There are enemies all around. Don't be afraid. 
just like when the enemies went to Elisha's house, the prophet, and then they surrounded his house, and it was just two of them, him and his servants, and the servant was sorely afraid, and Elisha said, don't be afraid, they that are with us are mightier than they that are against us. And he told God, he prayed to God, open his eyes, and God opened the servant's eyes, it's in the book of Kings, Second Kings, and then he saw that they, there are chariots all around them who were mightier than there are enemies that were seen with the physical eyes. You have to know, you may not see God physically, but because you believe and trust Him, the Holy Spirit is living inside of you, you have backup. You're never facing life alone. You're never going through life alone. So do not think you are alone. Do not be afraid. God is with you and success is yours. Victory is yours. You only need to keep on waking up each day and face your day and know that you're already victorious. Hear God telling you, I have given this day to you. <laughs> Hear God telling you every day you wake up, I have given this day to you. Go ahead and be successful. Go ahead and live your life. Go ahead and win. Amen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And I hope that this video is encouraging you. I hope that this video is building courage in your heart for you to face your life, for you to face your day, for you to face your marriage if you're having troubles in your marriage, for you to face your job if you're having troubles in your job and know that I already have victory. I already have victory in God. I am not trying to look for victory. I'm not trying to go and say, oh God, I hope I deserve for me to pray to you. No, no, no. God hears you and God loves you and God wants you to talk to him and God wants you to trust him and not be afraid. Amen. God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I am OM. Do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and share the video also. Share it on your WhatsApp status. <laughs> Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.